you will please rise for the presentation of the colors. Please join us in the saying of the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. You may be seated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure as principal to welcome you to the 2023 graduation ceremony for Chester T. High School. It is a blessing and a privilege for us to gather here at Free Chapel. This amazing facility provides the perfect backdrop for today's event and I extend my sincere gratitude to the Free Chapel staff for their hard work and preparation that goes into hosting such an event. This is a very special day to be celebrated in this spacious auditorium, a day worthy of much dignity and respect. Welcome to parents, family, and friends of graduates, our Board of Education, administrators, teachers, and staff. I'm thankful that you chose to celebrate with us but I'd also like to take a moment to recognize those who couldn't be with us, those who have gone on, and those who stayed behind at school so that we could be here today. A special shout out to the Chester T staff who wish they could be here with you, but had to stay and watch the underclassmen. <laughs> Please know that we miss you, Chester T staff, and that you made today possible. Please join me in recognizing the special guests who are with us on stage. Mr. Craig Harrington, Chair, Hall County Board of Education. Dr. Deborah Smith, Member, Hall County Board of Education. Mr. Mark Pettit, Member, Hall County Board of Education. Mr. William Schofield, Superintendent of the Hall County School System. 
Dr. Ashley Traeger, Principal, Sardis Enrichment School. Ms. Suzanne, Ms. Jennifer Kogod, Principal, Chesity Academy. Ms. Suzanne Girard, Executive Director of Secondary Education. Our very own Chesity High School staff and administration seated on the stage to my right. Mr. Kerry Whitlow, graduation coach. <laughs> Mrs. Judy Lambeth, counselor. <laughs> Mrs. Mary Smith, counselor. <laughs> Mr. Alan Griffin, counselor. <laughs> Mr. Ben Corley, assistant principal. <laughs> Mrs. Jennifer Gibson, assistant principal. Mr. Matt Sowers, Assistant Principal. <laughs> Mr. Kit Walker, 2022-23 Teacher of the Year. <laughs> and Ms. Gracie Martin, 22-23 Star Teacher. Yes, I humbly ask that all of you in attendance refrain from the use of noise-making devices during the ceremony so that each graduate's name can be clearly heard during the reading of his or her name. A professional photograph will be taken of your graduate as they exit the stage today. Each graduate, and you have to ask them, will receive information on the availability of these pictures in the graduation packet they receive after the ceremony. One of the great honors of my life has been serving as the principal of Chester T High School, my home, as the sixth principal of this amazing high school. Strangely enough, exactly 30 years ago this month, I was sitting where you're sitting, at my high school graduation, with the fellow members of the class of 1993. There was no Chester T High School, or I would have been a war eagle. Can you believe it? how quickly 30 years have come and gone. I certainly didn't foresee this, my journey of faith, education, motherhood, and leadership, the path that is my life. If I'm being completely honest, I don't remember much about that day. I don't have a lot of photos to document the momentous occasion, but I distinctly remember being surrounded by my friends and family, and also feeling varying emotions of relief, excitement, and anxiety. Relief that I was graduating. Whew, you did it. Excitement about my summer plans. Anxiety about growing up and heading off to college. Graduates, maybe you're experiencing some of those very same feelings, but you too are surrounded by people who love and care about you. I challenge you to embrace those feelings. Revel in this moment. Trust in your amazing education and training and continue to seek out the wisdom and love of those you trust. We talk a lot about trusted adults here in Hall County. I'm very proud to admit that every member of the senior class has reported that they have a trusted adult, someone that they can talk to and who will listen. I bet that trusted adult is here with you tonight, a loving family member, a caring neighbor, a thoughtful teacher, an overprotective sibling, a valued mentor. In order to deal with your feelings, be it relief, excitement, or anxiety, I'm sure that you're leaning on those people, letting them know how you feel, seeking their advice as you make the best decision you can in that very moment. You got this. Did you know this group of young people has earned more than 7,650 credits over the course of their middle and high school career? Of the over 1,800 credits accrued this year alone, Chester T. Seniors have earned 154 advanced placement course credits, 225 honors credits, 95 work-based learning credits, and over 120 dual enrollment credits. Sitting behind me, we have over 50 students who will graduate today with honors. In addition to these academic achievements, this class is celebrating numerous extracurricular acc accolades. This year alone, the class of 2023 has a state champion thespian, an elite eight basketball and volleyball team, state podium placers in track and field, 
top five placers in Skills USA for automotive, construction, audiovisual, and cosmetology, with international competitors in HOSA and DECA. Our fine arts seniors have earned over $150,000 in scholarships with students in all programs earning multiple district and state level awards. The list goes on and on. What an amazing story. What a distinguished list of accolades. What an incredible journey, class of 2023. Your journey might be unclear. Where you go from here, you may not know, but stay open to the possibilities. Trust me, I never imagined I would be a high school principal. Never give up. Put your head down and do the work. You have the skills and courage to be the difference. Commit your life to one of kindness and service. Now it's your turn to be that trusted adult for someone else. Thank you.
Honestly, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I'm Braylon Garcia, your uh, Chesapeake High School salutatorian. I would first like to thank all the ladies and gentlemen, faculty members, distinguished guests, distinguished guests, <laughs> family members, and my fellow 2023 graduates. Today, we are here to celebrate a monumentous occasion, a triumph that has been four years in the making. Seeing Dr. Stevens be proud of us. <laughs> He's not actually here, but. In all honesty, we are here to celebrate a culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and determination. Before I get, about, before I get to my point uh, about taking on the future and future challenges, yada, 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 standard speech stuff Google tells me to do, I would first like to reminisce about our time together. Four years ago, we first walked the maroon, silver, and black halls of our house, high school. We were absolutely clueless about each other and the amazing teachers awaiting us. Our first year was a year of countless new discoveries, discovering the assortment of activities and opportunities Chesty High School provided. Some discovered the band program, others discovered the assortment of athletics available and an unlucky few discovered that walking right on an agenda will get you chewed out by administrations. Our discovery led to interest, interest that would carry on through one of our most difficult obstacles in our high school career, the pandemic. While we were confined to our homes with a window of school through a computer screen, unable to see the beautiful faces of our teachers and friends, I'm looking at you, Mitchell. Our interests and drives persisted through the storm of COVID-19. Through our sophomore year, we experienced a block schedule year, wearing the oh-so-wonderful mask. Under these precautious conditions, we continue to thrive and revitalize our interests. While other schools around the nation weren't so lucky, we had opportunities to continue our interests and pursue our passion in sports, extracurriculars, and academics. I found myself enjoying the wonderful personalities of each teacher I had that year. Uh, Ms. Vegan's screams of excitement at my near-perfect titration, Skogman's unorthodox teaching methods. He sniffed a marker to get people's classes' attention. Uh, and Ms. Martin's life lessons, never listen to Adele. <laughs> while, it may be, while it may seem weird, these antics and personalities actually got me excited for learning. And I believe it was through our wonderful teachers, administrators, and our program directors that our interests survived and continue to burn so brightly today. Now, our final year, let's just skip junior year. We don't need to talk about it. Our interests really shined and became more than just simple interests. We, as a class, were able to demonstrate passion, leadership, and accomplishment in all walks in Chesity through our sports program, our wrestling, cross-country basketball, and soccer programs accomplished many feats that if I were to list them all, we would be here too long. Through our programs, here's a big list, our band, theater, AV, graphic design, marketing, robotics, automotive, chorus, TikTok dancing, and other programs which I'm probably forgetting to list, accomplished their own respective feats. Through all these feats, the, common, the commonality among them was that each and every one of them was guided by the class of 2023. We spearheaded all those accomplishments. We drove our passions to new heights. And we, through our passion that has survived a global pandemic, have accomplished insurmountable achievements this senior year. Now comes the fun part. Class of 2023, we did it. We are moving on with our life. No matter what walk of life we pursue, I know we will accomplish whatever path we undertake with passion, a passion that is unbreakable to any obstacle. Finally, I would like to thank teachers, administrators, custodians, the lunch ladies, and the families of these graduates for their continued support. Thank you. Gracias por mis padres, mi mamá y mi papá, my brothers, 
my cousin for always waking me up each morning, and my beautiful girlfriend for their continued support. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Stevens. Thank you, Ms. Lloyd. Bye, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to begin by expressing my heartfelt appreciation to all the families, friends, teachers, students, and observers who have joined us today. Your presence here means the world to myself and my fellow graduates. And as the valedictorian of our class, it is my pleasure to welcome you all. Graduating now in these circumstances is something I thought wouldn't happen, especially for some of you out there. Being here, leaving behind my high school, my teachers, and some of my peers brings me great grief in these moments I have with you today. However, I'm excited to display to you all our achievements that we take shared pride in and our exciting futures that come with this monumental party. Looking back, it never occurred to me that this day would actually come. You might not believe me, but I too was once youthful. In those days, Around one or two years back, I never did reflect on the hours and days that I had spent. My main goal was to finish my work, make good grades, and then forget about school. I used to spend, sorry, <laughs> I still remember the times that I wished school would end and the excitement that came when I would finally get a break. I'm sure some of you can agree with that sentiment. I used to spend so much time at school that Life360, an app for tracking your movements, used to ping my mom's phone and tell her that I'd returned home when I just got to school. But now, that I realize, but now that I spent my last year only showing up to high school for two classes, I started to realize all the good times that I had let slip by without a second thought. Truly, making connections with my peers and my teachers have become some of the most important moments in my life. For growth, for fun, for long relationships, and for the memories that will last a lifetime. Today, I want to take a moment to express gratitude to those who have impacted us in ways they may never fully understand. Thank you to the families who supported us and propelled us forward. Thank you to the teachers and faculty who created a welcoming environment, challenged us to be better, and genuinely cared about our education and personal lives. Thank you to the friends who made this journey bearable with their humor, support, understanding, and shared experiences. And a special thank you to the event organizers who made today possible. Lastly, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to the people who have, who have had an important impact on my life. To my parents and grandparents, thank you for raising me into the person I am today, for your unwavering support, love, and encouragement at every turn. To my brother, thank you for inspiring me to work hard and helping me to pay the way, pave the way for my success. As I say, let the tall person walk through the path first so they trigger the traps and get tangled in all the webs. I also want to acknowledge Braden Bennett for being the best friend I could ask for, Israel for being the person who could always make me laugh and brighten my day, Braylon Garcia, John Sykes, and Braden again for being sources of motivation and competition in my classes. And lastly, a heartfelt thank you to the exceptional teachers who shaped my character, fostered my growth, and enabled my success. Dr. Stevens, Ms. Fung, Dr. Wiley, Mr. Skogman, Ms. Richardson, Ms. Worley, and Ms. Martin, just to name a few. When I began to write this speech this morning, various ideas crossed my mind. The joy of competition, the significance of relationships, or the pride found in effort. However, I soon realized that there was already a major theme embedded in this speech. Time. Time is the independent variable and the unwavering constant present in all aspects of life. It drives many of our actions, such as when our parents tell us it's time to grow up. Time is finite, and once spent, it cannot be regained. And yet, some are fortunate enough to have more time than others. 
In fact, when I asked Dr. Stevens, my longtime proofreader, English teacher, and I believe friend, for suggestions, he imparted upon me some wise words from King Solomon in, Escal um, in the Bible. There's a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time for war and a time for peace. So now, reflecting on the time that I've spent, I find myself wishing I had invested it more wisely, complained less, and devoted more time to the people I cherish. Or maybe done a few more sit-ups. The point I'm trying to make, which you've likely heard before, is to spend your time wisely. Though I've heard this advice countless times, I still find it challenging to fully embrace. I can recall occasions when I wasted my time immediately after someone advised me not to. For example, being engrossed in YouTube videos or other social media for hours. I wonder how many productive, fulfilling, or satisfying moments slipped away while I procrastinated. Thus, I implore all of you to carefully consider how you want to spend your time. Each day, wake up with intention and contemplate how you'll make the most of it. Will you rest or work? Will you prioritize your relationships? By embracing this lesson, hopefully you'll have fewer regrets and experience more fulfillment with your life when your time inevitably comes. In closing, to my fellow students, congratulations on the remarkable accomplishments we celebrate today. I have unwavering confidence that the future holds extraordinary things for each and every one of us. Thank you all for joining us today and witnessing the conclusion of an era. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023 on your well-deserved graduation. Well, good afternoon. 13 years. Kindergarten, third grade. Sixth grade, you had to dress out for PE. You get here after 13 years, we get in here to have a little party. We say good afternoon, and what do we get back? <laughs> for my war eagles. Let's try that again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's more like a war eagle, good afternoon. Uh, if I could, let's take a point of privilege, and year after year, the only place in Hall County that will hold us so that whether it be rain or shine, we can get together and give this event what it deserves, our graduations. Would you please join me in thanking Pastor Franklin and Free Chapel for opening their doors and letting us use this beautiful facility. Thank you so much. Parents, families, friends, staff members, community members, your salutatorian and your valedictorian both alluded to it this morning, but today really isn't the end of anything. As a matter of fact, it's the beginning. And graduates, class of 2023, I would ask you to always remember that you are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, your community, and our desire is to cheer you on in all that you do from this moment forward. Would you help me in telling this special group of graduates just how special they are? All right, graduates, 23 years of being a superintendent, and you, you, I got good news for you and bad news for you. What do you want first, good or the bad? Why does everybody say bad? 
The bad news is I never let a graduating class go because, you know, my only real job is to confer your diplomas. I'm supposed to just jump up here and say, yep, they did everything they're supposed to. They can have real diplomas. Um, congratulations. But I'm not doing that. I'm going to give you one last short lesson, okay? So that's the bad news. Want the good news? Hey, there's no way to fail it. You're passing no matter what, and it's short. Now that ought to get a round of applause. Okay? Now to do this, the older I get, the more help I need. And so I need somebody to help me. Can I have a volunteer just for Mr. Clark? I think Mr. Clark's got me. Tell us your name. Ethan Clark. Ethan Clark, and he is a good sport. Now you can't have it quite yet, but I'm going to need you to help me with something. Would you come up here for just a minute, Ethan? Yes, All right. Please. Would you give Ethan a round of applause? Oh. Ethan, when I say it, I want you to take that which is in your hand and go like this, okay, so everybody can see it. So, Ethan, stick it up there. Go ahead. Now, everybody, tell me what that is. Oh, wow. It wasn't until about two years ago. You know what I always call that thing? Hold it up again, Ethan. What did I always call that thing? I said, that's the and sign. I was, you know, it was just two years ago. I was like 55 years old, and all of a sudden I realized it's called the amper sand. And do you realize there is great power in, Ethan, the amper sand? Doesn't he do that well? We, we rehearsed this earlier. What color is that slide? And black, black and white. Am I the only one here that thinks our nation our community, our world tends to see everything in black and white, red or blue, good or bad, left or right. Can I tell you, it hasn't always been that way in this country that I love. That's called dichotomous thinking. That's, I can't spell it, but I can say it. That's called thinking things have to be my way or there's no value to them. Ethan's going to help me out right now in dispelling that myth. Let's pretend you believe one way about something and I believe very different. Okay? You agree? Yes, sir. He agrees already. Ethan, do you think it's possible for us to come together and to reason and to maybe find some, some common ground in there that we both can agree on? Yes, sir. Can we elect him president? <laughs> Our country has forgotten that just because things seem extremely different, they can coexist at the same time and we can find common ground. That is the power of the ampersand. You can believe one way, I can believe another and we can find a way to reason together and come up with some common ground. So one last time, the first bit of wisdom I want to leave you with today is that there is great power in the ampersand. Would you thank Ethan for helping? Thank you. Now, for those of you who know me, before you say he's lost his mind, what's all this wishy-washy, we just, you know, everybody, doesn't matter what you believe, there's no such thing as truth. I, I didn't say that. There are different things in this world that are worth taking a stand for. There are ideals worth believing, class of 2023. There are ideals and beliefs that are literally worth dying for. But what I'm saying is that there's an awful lot of things that we can disagree and still find a way to get along. Which brings me to the second piece of wisdom. You know, it was over 2,000 years ago and a Roman leader named Pontius Pilate was confronted with something that was true. And you, you know what he did? He scoffed and he said, what is truth? You will be surrounded by people in this world class of 2023 who believe there is no such thing as truth. Just depends on how you look at things. There's no such thing as truth. 
Now, I don't mean little t-r-u-t-h, because little truth for you might be that the best cookie in the world is a chocolate chip cookie when it first comes out of the oven with a big glass of milk. That might be your truth. You're wrong. Because the best truth, the best cookie is a peanut butter cookie when it first comes out of the Yes, it is. See, now he and I can still be friends, even though you're wrong. That's little t r u t h. Class of 2023, there is such a thing as truth. Truth that was true 5,000 years ago. It was true 2,000 years ago. It was true 500 years ago. It was true last night when you went to bed. It was true this morning when you got up. It'll be true until this world quits spinning. Do not be deceived. There is such a thing as capital T, truth. As a matter of fact, one of your classmates already said this morning that when it comes to this world, time is finite. That's truth. Do you realize that for each and every one of us on this planet, time indeed is finite. You can argue with me, you can believe something different, but time is finite. There are other things that are truth. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, we ought to look after little children and not abuse them. That's truth. That's capital T, truth. We ought to speak honestly to each other. Somebody can tell you differently, but that is capital T, truth. You know, it was St. Augustine who said, truth is like a lion. You don't need to defend her. All you need to do is let her loose and she'll defend herself. Graduates never forget that while we do need to learn to come together and not be so doggone polarized about absolutely everything that we do, there will be some things in this world that are worth standing up for. Those will be your capital T-R-U-T-H truth. So, Power the ampersand. It actually can coexist with the fact that there is such a thing as capital T, truth. And the final little bit of wisdom that I would leave you with today is the true measure of the character of a woman. The true measure of a character of a man, of a family, of a community of a church, and yes, even of a nation, is our willingness to stand up and stand up and look out for the least of these, our brothers and sisters. I know that today is supposed to be about you. And I also know that we live in a world where if we're not careful, everything starts to be about me. And my goodness, how we support you as you as you set your goals, as you dream your dreams, as you take advantage of the incredible bounty that this country called the United States of America has to offer each and every one of you. It is a beautiful and a special thing, and I hope you realize how unique it is on this planet. And, there's that ampersand again, your true character will be measured how you look out for those who are less fortunate than you. For those who are not able to look out for themselves. You know, it was George Washington Carver who said this. He said, he said, be tender with the young. Be compassionate with the old. Be sympathetic with those who are striving and be tolerant of the weak and the wrong for at some time in your life, you will be every one of those things. Care for the least of these, our brothers and our sisters. Class of 2023, we've got to watch you grow up. We are all so proud of you and so excited to watch you launch as you, as you leave today in so many different directions. 
And as you do, let me just challenge you, and I know that you will. I know that you will. Make your decisions even when they cost you something based on those things that are true and noble and right. Congratulations, War Eagles, class of 2023. Will you fight? No! We will run! And we will live! Shame on you! This could be the greatest night of our lives. But you're gonna let it be the worst. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life you won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of you. Well, I'm not going home. We've got too far! And I'm gonna stay right here and fight for this lost cause. A day may come! When the courage of men fails. But it is not this day. The line must be drawn here. This far, no farther. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You're going to work harder than you ever worked before. But that's fine. We'll just get tougher with it. If a person grits his teeth and shows real determination. Failure is not an option. That's how winning is done. Believe me when I say we can break this army here. And win just one for the giver. But I say to you, what every warrior has known since the beginning of time, You've got to get mad. I mean plum mad dog mean. If you would be free men, then you must fight to fulfill that promise. Let us cut out their living guts one inch at a time. And they will know what we can do. <laughs> Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. You're like a big bear, man. This is your time. Seize the day. Never surrender. Victory or death. Punch the Chicago. Who's with me? Clap! Clap! Don't let him die! Clap! All right, let's fly! I'm gentlemen in England, now our bed shall oh, no! My name is the Lord! When I tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our Independence Day! Mr. Chairman, Board of Education, in accordance with the regulations and the policies of the Hall County Board of Education in the state of Georgia, and on behalf of this Hall County Board of Education and myself, I hereby declare that these members of the class of 2023, 2023, <laughs> have met all requirements and are therefore eligible to be designated as graduates of the best doggone high school in America, Chestity High School, congratulations. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the Chester T. High School graduating class of 2023. <clears throat> In order to ensure that every student gets to hear their name announced, please hold your applause or keep it, at least keep it to a minimum and, uh, until we're finished. Valedictorian Christopher Griffin Hammond. Salutatorian Braylon Garcia. Third honor graduate, Mitchell James Ryder. With honors, Erica Alvarez. With honors, Emily Joanna Bailey. With honors, Griffin Alexander Barnes. With honors, Valeria Larissa Barrera Vasquez. With honors, David Elvis Barton. 
with honors, Emily Brooke Benna. With honors, Braden Elijah Bennett. With honors, Ethan Jonathan Clark. With honors, Nadia Patricia Cuevas. With honors, Shiv Kumar Dutta. With honors, Guadalupe Felix Reyes. With honors, Ingrid, Ingrid Natalyn Figueroa Martinez. With honors, Tana, Tanner Patricia Foreman. With honors, Maya Jaden Fuller. With honors, Genesis Carolina Garcia. With honors, Fernando Garcia Perez. With honors, Hannah Elizabeth Gray. With honors, Jocelyn Ileana Griffith. With honors, Henry Morgan Grimsley. With honors, Alec Adriel Guajardo. With honors, Ashley Nicole Hall. With honors, Dylan Rich Halloran. With honors, America Hernandez. With honors, Kirsten Marie Hudson. With honors, Israel Howardji. With honors, Abigail Helen Levine. With honors, Jaden Phoenix Lee. With honors, Jennifer Lopez. With honors, Michael Edward Magana Torres. With honors, Sevilla, Sophia Isabella Magana Torres. With honors, Alyssa Amanda Manor. With honors, Nicholas Allen McCoy. With honors, C. Blue Moo. With honors, Alina Yimyi No. With honors, Levi David Popham. With honors, Wallace Hugh Pruitt. With honors, Isabella Nicole Redlinger. With honors, Aaron Ratana. With honors, Alejandra Rodriguez. With honors, Molifi Tafari Sejia. With honors, Rebecca Sue Skelton. With honors, Morgan Taylor Smith. With honors, Sarah Claire Smith. With honors, Christian Bailey Spaduzzi. With honors, John Elliott Sykes. With honors, Raleigh Waters Tucker. With honors, Braulio Vaca. With honors, Tanya Vasquez. With honors, Casey Michael Webb. With honors, Sarah Lynn Rose Williams. Luis Mario Aldaca. Angela Alvarez. Robert Nelson Amaya. Russell Daniel Amaya. Ethan Paul Andrews. <laughs> All 
Ariana Michelle Arango. William Alexis Orojo. Elijah Ariano. Noe Junior Ariano. Lindsay Ashley Arietta. Caleb Elisha Arrowwood. Francisco Javier Arzate. Zachary Max Baggett. Alexander Baltazar. Emily Lorraine Bannister. David Barcinas. Emilio Salvador Barrios Vargas. Ingrid Esmeralda Bautista. Michael Jacob Blocker. Jairo Bonilla. Brenda Ulyssa Bonilla Ocampo. Kevin Alexis Bonilla Salas. Madison Kate Bowell. Jessica Denise Carolina Brewer. William Pierce Brookshire. Jadarius Ranshad Brown. Jarrett Fisher Brown. Abigail Beatrice Budd. Zarius Jadon Birch. Erilyn Rain Cagle. Stephen Lawrence Campbell. Dayami Itzel Cantu. Ruth Cardiel Gomez. Jamila Ann Carruth. Lorena Castillo. Juan Antonio Israel Caudillo Caudillo. Karina Lissed Cespedes. Mia Olivia Childs. Lupita Michelle Collin. Victoria Contreras. Kayla Lee Couch. Lily Beth Cox. Hunter Wayne Crabtree. Casey Regina Creighton. Madison May Criddle. Jason James Crow. Jacqueline De Jesus. Edwin Alexandro Diaz. David Gabriel Diaz Simmental. Mosley Deanira Duenas Pesias. Isabella Ann Eanes. Eduardo Echeverria. 
Chesley Rebecca Eller. Amy Escalera Mendoza. Javier Alejandro Espinoza. Brayum Giovanni Estrada. Riley Joy Idris. Ashton Philip Jesse Ewing. Cheyenne Marie Ewing. Hannah Elizabeth Farrar. Aaliyah Diana Ford. Ricardo Ismael Franco. Lily Aurora Diana Freeman. Jose Yahir Galvez. Alejandro Garcia. Saul Garcia. Valeria Garcia. Yindi Aline Garcia. Juliana Naomi Garcia. Reyes Garcia Andrade. Kelson Ulyssa Garcia Bonilla. Cameron Noah Garrett. Madeline Ruby Garrison. Ashlyn Gabrielle Gibbs. Emma Katherine Gibson. Ashley Godinez. Alejandro Gomez. Angel Jesus Gomez. Giovanni Gomez. Armando Gomez Mosqueda. Alexis Giovanni Guardado. Matthew Peter Gutzman. Sarah Julianne Hayfully. Bailey Elizabeth Hallman. Nicholas Tesla Hartog. Courtney Renee Hawkins. Alexa Hernandez. Valerie Hernandez. Dulce Emily Hernandez Ramirez. Emily Leonora Hernandez Romero. Landon Brady Hitchcock. Carly Annalise Hokum. Tyler Kale Humphreys. Luis Anguel Ibarra. Christian Mark Gerard. Luis Angel Jordan. Jack Owen Kennedy. Angelina Elizabeth King. Morgan Elizabeth Kosanovich. 
Anna Alexa Lee. Janice Harley Loggins. Let's try that again. Janice Harley Loggins. Juan Carlos Lomas. Alex Lopez. Ashley Lopez. Giovanni Lopez. Ivan Zaul Lopez. Junior Sebastian Lopez. Nathan Lopez. Brissa Lisbeth Lopez Ixcoy. Joanna Guadalupe Lopez Sanchez. Sitlali Maria Loyola. America Angie Lucario. Marissa Lisbeth Magana. Litzy Yvette Maldonado. Ila Martinez. Isaac Alejandro Martinez. Jasmine Annette Martinez. Madison Kendall McElroy. Jordan Dalen McIntosh. Sam McMahon. Gustavo Daniel Madrano Jaramillo. Juliana Mejia. Katie Melendez. Giselle Mescatol. Tristan Wiley Goodsir Minor. Leslie Montanez. Kimberly Moreno. Phoebe Ashley Moy. Brian Navarro. William Isaac Norton. Milagros Nunez Martinez. Camden Joseph Odell. William Benjamin O'Neill. Jonathan Olivas. Crystal Olvera Bravo. Brian Ortega. Christian Ortega. Anna Paloma Ortiz. Diana Ortiz. Jorge Padilla. James William Pear. Omar Paniagua. Edgar Paniagua Guzman. Bailey Morgan Parker. Elijah David Parlier. Alexis Renee Payne. Esmeralda Tanya Perez. Jasmine Natalia Perez. Yina Natalie Perez Manzano. 
Bradley De Jesus Perez Godinez. Jonathan Slevy Perez Ortega. Esteban Perez Sesmus. Luke William Peterson. Dallin Wayne Pierce. Hannah Lane Pierce. Mario Pisano. Rafael Porqueo. Christian David Pruitt. Elijah Joel Pruitt. Joanna Elizabeth Ramirez Lizama. Frank Anthony Ramos. Brittany Marlene Ramos Lopez. Lauren Olivia Reed. Idali Alondra Rivera. Pablo Rivera Garcia. Luz Jasmine Robles Serrano. Brenda Denise Rodriguez. David Rodriguez. Diana Romero. Elizabeth Rocio Romero Lopez. Rebecca Elizabeth Roque. <laughs> Jeremiah Peyton Rowe. <laughs> Trinity Grace Rowland. <laughs> Samuel San Juan. <laughs> Scarlett Schlappman. Gavin Timothy Swartz. Cole Nathaniel Sexton. Mia Simmental. Sarah Lynn Grace Sims. William Anthony Slayton. Alexis Irene Smith. Jose Julian Soto. Ash Marianne Stacy. Carter McGregor Stowe. Molly Page Sturm. Brian Alexis Suarez. Abigail Rose Teal. Allison Page Tahanika. Scotty Blake Terrell. Daryl Osvaldo Terrera Casado. Darielis Desiree Terrera Casado. Ethan Daniel Thompson. Zachary Michael Upham. Miranda Suhaith Uribe. Brennan Joseph Van Beaver.
Adriel Jesmiel Vargas. Jonathan Vargas. Yamil Anahi Vargas Caudillo. Iori Manuel Vasquez. Dennis Aldair Velasquez. Azteca Velez. Gabriela Ventura. Joshua Henry Vick. Natalie Nicole Villagomez Bustamante. Joshuan Adon Villalobos. Michaela Marie Wallace. Russell Zachary Wallace. Jarvis Latavius Weaver. Charlotte Elizabeth Wheeler. Brenna Jade Williams. Kamaya Lenise Wright. Jacob Christopher Winings. Yamalet Idi Yebra. Daniel Andres Zaleda. Angel Anonio Zamora. Jasmine Zamudio. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of Chester T. High School 2023. At this time, will you please rise for the singing of the alma mater?
You may be seated. Sophia Magana Torres, senior class president, will come to the podium and honor the graduates with the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel is a tradition that signifies our transition as a high school student to the graduate of Chesapeake High School. Students, please join me in turning your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023. Congratulations, graduates. I feel great joy and satisfaction in being witness to your tremendous success. Thank you, Griffin. Thank you, Braylon, and thank you, Mr. Schofield, for your words of wisdom, gratitude, perseverance, and finding common ground. It is no coincidence that our words have a common thread and that we are all on the same page. We are, after all, war eagles who live out the war eagle way. None of us would be here today without our character, courage, and commitment. Graduates, you inspire me to be a better person. Your story is one of perseverance and determination, one of struggles and obstacles, but you managed to overcome. You have worked extremely hard to be here tonight. Be proud and celebrate. Thank you for dedicating yourself to being your best. Good luck, good evening, and I wish you all the best. Let's hear it for the class of 2023.